Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial from me, Kira. Today we're going to be looking at setting up the system on Fedora 2164 bit workstation. So I basically did a new new install, decided to use the Fedora 21 workstation. So I'm basically going to show you how I set up my system for basically for what I do gaming and videos. So first off what you want if you've not already done so is install your Fedora 21 or download it. So you can get that from getfedora.org forward slash en forward slash workstation forward slash download. Download it, it's 1.4 gig and just install it. So start Fedora Live. So we'll just wait for this to boot up. For um, a virtual machine, I'm using software called Boxes. No fancy setup needed. But we're not going to go into the virtual machines just now. Maybe at a later date. As we just set this up. It's taking its time. Right, we shall just go straight into installing the hard drive. But you can always hear play about if you want. We're not going to go through the actual full process because, well, for the sake of it. Right, so you'll come up to your initial screen for installing. Select your language, we'll use English UK. You have your keyboard selection there as well. Continue, not bother changing that just now. Your date and time, you have your keyboard, your network. We'll just go straight in the system. Easiest way to do automatically configure partitioning. If you're doing a new one, what you want to do is I would like to make additional space, um, delete existing partitions, and continue. Done. Saving. Then you begin installation. During the installation process, I'll ask you to set up your username and your password and that. So begin in installation. Your root password. So we'll put in a root password. Click on done. There we go. Creation. Gaming with Kira. And then you set up your own password. I don't care. Weak, 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 weak. I don't care. Because this is going to be getting deleted. I just press done. 
and that is it now basically you just wait for this to install I'll just leave that right once it's installed what you want to do is visit a website called geekface.ca so it's www.geekface.ca and click on the new Fedora install and what this will do this will give you instructions for just copy and paste to update your system and auto install a load of software so once you're installed what you want to do is open up your terminal window and you want to log in as root so su space forward slash l put in your root password not your user password but your root password and that's you as the root so just start copying copy and paste each of the instructions into your terminal blah 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 and what this will do if you want down each of the instructions this will install cinnamon desktop some new applets I'll install um, the RPM free and non free fusion um, repos, the Adobe repos, Google Chrome repo, load of G Streamer plugins, Flash, Java, some, some GNOME games, couple of games, Hedge Wars, Frozen Bubble, educational stuff, graphics, so you'll have Paint, uh, Gimp, Inkscape, Blender, My Paint, internet, internet stuff like Google Chrome, Firefox, Thunderbird, FileZilla, uh, your LibreOffice and stuff, your um, media players and editors, VLC, Auto City, OpenShot, and just some tools like Unrars, 7-Zip, GnomeTweak, Batman file manager, a couple other things. Um, once that's all that's done, I'll just automatically install. You can basically just leave it. It does take a while, so be patient. And then some stuff that's not in the script, you can put if you're a Minecraft player, there's a script to download Minecraft and feed the beast mod pack and the IP then a couple other codecs if you wish it will take a wee while because it is quite a lot of software you're downloading, installing and updating so you'll just have to be patient right and seeing I am a gamer and whatnot, we want Steam on our system so quite simple to do once all that's finished reboot your computer be on the safe side, load it back up, open your terminal and yum oh. you won't be in root so sudo yum install steam and you also want to install wine and so be sudo yum install steam wine press enter Right, what next we want to do is what you might have, especially if you use the uh, AMD drivers, is they're an absolute, the ATI catalyst is a bitch to install on Fedora. And when you start up Steam, you will get your open um, GOX warnings, uh, direct rendering. This is because the Steam packages its own um, runtime and it's a little bit older but there is a way around this to force Steam to use it's um, Steam to use the Fedora default runtimes by way of a script 
So it's a simple script which will basically remove the steam run times and force um, steam to use the Fedora defaults. I will add uh, this script in here as a link or just um, for copy and paste. Right, so basically we have the script, it's a shell script, so download it, copy paste it, save it in your home directory, I save it as steamfix.sh Make sure it's executable, easiest way, right click, permissions, allow executing as a program. And you can just open it, run it in terminal, or just run, or just open up your terminal yourself. Dot forward slash steamfix.sh and hit enter. And that is that, that will then force Steam to use the Fedora runtime itself. Right, next up, we want to show, we want to install Mumble in um, the voice server. Or well, voice client for the voice server. So basically, the problem is Mumble was orphaned from Fedora 21, so it's not in the repos. But thanks to JK Cho Cho, I think that's how you pronounce his name, another YouTuber, I found a solution for, for that. So what you want to do is go to Fedora Apps, HTTPS, colon forward slash forward slash apps dot fedora project dot org and you want to click on the koji you see it right there and go to check it out the fedora apps you want to search bumble Fedora 21, click download. Click on that. Down to the builds. So we're 64 bit. So download your 64 bit. And you also want to download the murmur. Top one and there as well. If you want the plugins or overlay, feel free. You also want to download ICE. So we search for ICE again Fedora 21, P. Robertson, third one down. And again, this top one here, just click on download. Afterwards, go to your download folder and you'll see them Ice, Mumbo, Murmur. Just work along the load of them. Right click, open with YumX package installer and just install them. And that will have you Mumbo on your system. Now, next, while we're on Fedora apps, you want to install Conkey. So again, do search for Conkey, move down, one, two, three, four, five, fifth one down, Conkey there, there Fedora 21, click on it, down to the 64 bit builds, and just click on download. And then again, 
Oh, I don't have it in there anymore. Right click, install with Young X. Simple. After you install Concat, you best probably want to search for a theme that you like. That's the theme I use. I'll put in the description how to get this theme, but you can find it on Noob's Lab. Right, and lastly, but not least, what we want to do, well not lastly, one, two more things, sorry, two more things to do, simple screen recorder, that is the software I use to install, to record like this video, so it's not, again, not in the repos and such, so open up your terminal, tnf, install, dnf, Plugins core hit enter. This is a new method for downloading stuff via repos. DNF Copra Enable Nick TH SSR and this will enable the Creator of Simple Screen Recorder repo. And hit enter. Then DNF install SSR. And hit enter. Doesn't take long, probably less than a minute. And that's you got Simple Screen Recorder installed. And lastly, you see the bottom of my screen this is docky so to install docky simple sudo yum install docky and press enter now what you want to do is log out your system Coming to this first. Oh, that's the same boxes. Now, what you want to do is log out your system now, everything's installed, and when you oh. Yeah, you can just log it or you can reboot, it doesn't really matter. And you want to select Cinnamon as your desktop, which we installed when we did um, Auto Installer. And that is basically it. So you'll have a heap of software, you'll have a working Steam, but you won't get the OpenGOX rendering problem. Uh, you have Donkey and you have Conkey installed and a host of other software which you can see from mine's is everything you probably actually need and then it's up to you just to install your games so enjoy your Fedora 21 workstation install and I'll see you later If you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more work.